All right, so I thought I'd make a quick video about how I um, store and organize my comic book collection. And I've got a few things I've laid out here on the uh, on the island. First off is for all my books that are raw, a few years ago I moved to the eGerber Mylar uh, product. Now, to be quite honest, you probably don't need Mylar for the newer books, uh, but definitely for the older uh comics that were printed with that newsprint type of uh, newspaper page type material. So, But I, I'm, I'm doing everything across the board with the Mylars because one of the things that's recommended is if you do use the, uh, the poly bags and the uh, so-called acid-free boards, which aren't necessarily acid-free, you should change them out every like seven years or so is sort of the uh, unwritten rule. So I don't have time for that. So I just figure I'd nip that in the bud and go Mylar 100%. And so I go with E. Gerber, and when I got into this a few years ago, uh, you know, I was a little bit of a noob, and um, I purchased current size uh, my lights with current size boards. I purchased standard, and then I purchased golden age and silver, which are combined because I had some silver age comics, I had a lot of bronze age stuff for the standard size, and I had a lot of current comics. But <sighs> the long and short of it is. Actually, the standard size will keep silver up through modern age uh, just fine. And so it also keeps things simple when it comes to ordering. One of the things about these is the shipping expense is a bitch because of how heavy the boxes are. And these aren't cheap to begin with because they are archival uh, products. And, uh, I mean, just for reference, I think my last order I got 300 bags and boards anyway it came to like a hundred dollars or so 110 bucks but the shipping was like another forty dollars on top of it so um yeah just keep that in mind and there's a minimum order with eGerber as well there used to not be but when i was talking to them on the phone i guess people would call and order like 50 or you know 10 or something like that so uh, to make it worth their while they wanted people order in bulk and so that's what i do it's fine it just means i don't order as often um and so i use the mylite to these are the uh, standard size, and there's the uh, part number there, All right? 725M2, I all right down here, right here. And again, these will accommodate Silver Age up to Modern Age comics, and then I have the halfbacks. Now, I do have fullbacks for more significant books that I have bagged and boarded, so it's a little bit more uh, protection, a little more rigidity for the book when I store it in the comic box. And as far as comic boxes go, I use, uh, you know, BCW. This is part of the comic book house where it's like a, a shelving system that you can actually take and remove these from different levels so it keeps it convenient. In the old days, I would have to unstack boxes to get at a box at a lower level. No more uh, with the new BCW comic house. And uh, when you're storing your raw books, and this is probably, I mean, maybe this is or isn't comic knowledge, but uh, what you want to do is have alternating spines. So you can see here... You want them to kind of like alternate because one, it'll make it less prone to damage because as all the spines like stack up on one side, the books can turn one way. And, you know, if you don't have them kept properly, it could, you know, cause spine breaks or ticks or things like that. But by having them, you know, alternating, it makes it a flush sort of uh, arrangement, a minimal damage possibility and also you could fit more books in the box as a result so um this is i just grabbed this arbitrarily this is my uncanny x-men um i got a pretty decent run of these but you see how i have them alternating so um that's one tip i have and a lot of people kind of already know this but for those that don't it's highly recommended that when you keep boxes or keep your comics in a box it's best to alternate the spines to minimize any potential damage um so moving on to the graded stuff um, I recently went to these clear bags. I recently went to these clear bags here to store the CGC slabs. So here's an example. Now, it's not like a perfect fit sleeve, but it's, uh, it's well enough. And I did a little bit of research into the best, the best bags for these slabs and Mylar is a little bit uh, too rigid. Um, and then just the regular poly bags just aren't very clear. This is a company called Clear Bags. And I found this 
you know, I'll just kind of zoom in here on the part number. These are the bags I'm using. And I'll link all this stuff down below to make it easier. But another YouTuber was talking about different bags for storing slabs. And he found this was the best uh, combination of value and, and clarity and protection. And I tend to agree. Uh, so it's a company called Clear Bags. And I use them to store all my comics, my graded comics, before I put them in this uh, BCW milk crate kind of thing, which I also picked up. If I could just open it, it's a little bit, it's got locks on it, so there we go. And I keep my books in here, graded, and I'm going to need another one of these for sure because i got a bunch of books at CGC right now that are going to come back over the course of the next uh, month or two. Uh, but this would hold about, I think, 25 or so books, and there is a, uh, a divider you could take advantage of if you don't have this quite filled all the way. Um, you know, I... <laughs> I went back and forth. You know, there's some argument as to whether it's okay to store your books upright because potentially, I don't know, maybe um, maybe force of gravity will call will cause the books to maybe drift down inside the slab. And then there's a lot of folks that say, no, don't worry about it. And the book is fine. Um, you certainly don't want to store them. I mean, you could stack them, but you can only stack them so high before then that becomes an issue. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I decided, okay, whatever, I'll just go with the flow and Storm upright for a combination of, uh, I guess, just space and ease and uh, that sort of thing. So this is the BCW. I'm not sure what they call this, but again, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm storing my books. And uh, just a quick recap. E. Gerber. I go with the uh, standard MyLite, uh, the M2, and uh, the Halfback for all my raw books and for the occasional... Higher end raw book, I'll go with a fullback. BCW storage box, it could be any storage box that's designed for comic books, but the one tip I have, as many other comic collectors do, is to, when you place them in here, again, alternating spines, like I have here, to not only maximize storage, but also to minimize any potential damage to the spine or the book itself. Uh, the clear bags and for the uh, CGC slabs, and here's an example, like I said. Again, not a perfect fit. Not like you know all our PSA slabs and the perfect fit, superior fit sleeves. It's a little bit, it's a little bit sloppy, but not so much that it's you know unbearable. Um, and then the BCW CGC graded comic crate or milk box, whatever you want to call it, and uh, that will do it. So um, yeah, just a quick FYI and how I'm doing stuff with my comic collection. Thanks for watching.